You lose to Marcus Ware, who's the greatest pass rusher in Cowboys history. He's gone. Well, he used to be. You let Jason Not like ha- five years ago. Okay, but you go let, ahead. You let Jason yep. Hatcher go. Yep. Sean Lee, who's your best defensive player, couldn't stay healthy. He's gone again. Mm. Orlando Scandrick, who started on the third worst defense in the history of the National Football League, and somehow we're supposed to think you're going to get better. And your quarterback, mind you, is coming off his second back surgery. Someone's going to win this division at 9-7. and seven. But? Cowboys. Cow, Cowboys. Skip, I know you love the Cowboys. I, I, I watched you so many times. The Cowboys, it's over. It's over, Skip. It's over. It's over. So what do you got? One and I give them, I, I give them seven and nine. Seven and well, seven that's, and nine. That's like glasses half full after all that you just said, right? Seven and nine. And I'm being generous. I'm I being very I'm being very generous. Uh, seven and nine on the high end. I can see five and eleven, six and ten. Okay. He right. does not like the Dallas Cowboys listen, because he grew up a New York listen, Giants listen, listen. fan. I don't, I don't, I like hating on the Cowboys. He is accurate about that because <laughs> the only thing I liked about the Cowboys were their cheerleaders. I never liked anything else nice about one. the Cowboys. You think I don't know? Uh, I never liked I, ne- I never liked anything else about the Cowboys. I love the city of Dallas. I love the people there, and I love the cheerleaders. I can't stand the team, even though the playmaker and Emmett, I, I love them. Let me be very clear, though. These Dallas Cowboys stink. It's just that simple. Now, offensively, that's not the case. Des Bryant entering a contract here. He's going to do some a damage. Stud. I have no doubt. He's a stud. Jason Witten, I don't know how he does it, but he's all reliable. He just shows up every year, gets it done. Okay? DeMarco Murray, last few weeks of the regular season, I mean, he showed up. Keep big talking. time. All right? talking. I get all of that. So I anticipate that the Dallas Cowboys offense will be prolific. But their defense flat out stinks. It's going to put the offense in a position where they're going to have to take more chances. Chances. That means they're going to run the ball less. Yep. They're going to continue to throw the ball more, which yeah, means Tony Romo it? is an accident waiting to Uh-oh. happen. Uh-oh. And that's yep. exactly what's going to happen. So in the end, when I look at the Dallas Cowboys, ranked dead last in the NFL last year overall, 30th against the pass, I look at the Dallas Cowboys, and, and I'm just saying to myself, it's bad enough you were awful. But now you got one of your start, one of your one of your top corners on the team that's out for four games for PED was just on with us in LA. You understand? Out with for PED use? Well, if I'm assuming that it you wasn't would, working. I, I'm assuming that it wasn't working. <laughs> that you were using PEDs, and even that didn't help you. So it's like, I don't want to get on, I don't want to get on Orlando. I don't want to get on Orlando. He made a mistake. God bless you. Come overcome it. Get back on the field. Do what you got to do. But what I'm saying is. Nobody's going to believe that you just did it in the off season and you got oh, no, caught. No no, 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 no. You probably did it last year. And if you did it last year and your defense stunk then, what's it going to do now? And that was with DeMarcus Ware and with Sean Lee. And now DeMarcus Ware is in Denver. And Sean Lee is gone. Hatch is in D.C. I'm looking at the... Who are you going to tell me? Harry Melton is going to get it Henry. done for you? Henry, Henry not Henry. Harry. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Get it right. Henry Melton. He's going to be right. a stud. Really? Yeah, I'm really. Sure, I'm, sure he, I'm sure he'll do just fine. But let me tell you something about the Cowboys individually, and I hope they're watching. Actually, I know they're watching. Let me be very, very clear about the Dallas Cowboys. Individually, I'm not talking about them. Because individually, you've got pieces, everyone, the Dallas Cowboys, that could make huge contributions to another team. It's the mystique, the aura, the pressure of Jerry World, Jerry Jones' squad, the Big D, the star, America's team, that very uh, too many of these players find it very difficult to live up to. I'm predicting that the Dallas Cowboys won't even go 8-8 eight and eight this year. It'll be less than that. They ain't making no playoffs. They're going to be irrelevant. They're not, what, not seven irrelevant. Be bold. Go out on the end of that limb. Go to seven you know and nine. You know what? I, I'm going to think more like six and ten. I'm going to think more like six and okay, ten. Okay, you're on record. Randy White and their two talls are available, too. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Skip, you going to take this? You know, he knows you know it's what? true. He knows it's true, Kerry. Shannon you know? Sharp has finally pushed me over the edge <laughs> when it comes to my <laughs> Dallas Cowboys. I, I have finally had enough. I, I want you to encourage both of you to just keep laughing and ridiculing and sleeping on my Dallas Cowboys this, this season. Not next year or the next year, this season. I'm going to remind both of you, if my little quarterback, Tony Romo, hadn't gotten hurt after playing a pretty good football game at Washington in the second to last game, if he had been available to play the very last game against the Philadelphia Eagles you once covered in Philly, 
I think my Dallas Cowboys would have gone undefeated in the NFC East last year. They would have been 6-0. and They were almost 6-0 and with Kyle Orton at quarterback. It went down to the wire. It was 24-22 to Philly with Kyle Orton throwing a late interception. Remember that? Absolutely. So, I'm going to guess that my quarterback's going to be okay because my quarterback – Two of the last three years, as you often point out, threw 31 touchdown passes to only 10 interceptions. That's what he threw last year. But when did those interceptions come? Okay, one came late against Peyton, and I cannot, I, I cannot defend those. But I'm saying this man is explosive, and he will be throwing to arguably one of, if not the most spectacular receivers in the National Football League I believe he's a in a contract five. year, yep. as you point out. <laughs> I and, believe in Des Bryant. Okay. My, my, my you know cynicism what? about the Cowboys have you know nothing what? to do with him. That, that second receiver, Terrence Williams, he's pretty good. He I. Fact, no, I think he's better he's, than all right. I. And I think Cole Beasley in the slot is getting better and better by the snap. And I think that my offensive line just might be this year the best offensive line in the entire league, protecting Tony Romo at 34 coming off back surgery. And you know what? DeMarco Murray... You've pointed this out. Last six games last year, he was really good. And if you start featuring him, he could be just about as good as anybody catching no, or carrying the football. It. You know, you're ridiculous. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You're ridiculous because you know that that has nothing to do with our argument. Stop trying to Wait change a second. the narrative. I'm not finished. You're trying to change So just what if? What if my Dallas Cowboys lead the league in time of possession? What if they're the best play keep away team in the NFL? What if they shock you because they just start outscoring the opposition because the opposition doesn't have the ball very much? I think that is highly possible. You are underestimating just First how of all, explosive that's, that's why is. I said you're changing the narrative. Nobody has questioned the Dallas Cowboys offense. Every insult has been aimed directly at their defense.